Your class receives $1,550 for selling 250 packages of greeting cards and gift wrap. A package of cards costs $5 and a package of gift wrap costs $8. Set up a system and solve to answer part A. How many packages of cards were sold? So to answer that question, first let's define variables where one of them is going to be the number of packages of cards that were sold. So let's let C equal the amount of packages of cards sold and we'll let G equal the amount of gift wrap that's sold. So we have our two variables. We got that from the question how many packages of cards were sold and we're also selling packages of gift wrap. So now we have to set up a system we can solve to answer and find the value of C and G. Well, our system will come from the fact that your class receives $1,550 for selling the packages of greeting cards and gift wrap. That's money. So we need an equation that's going to work with the money aspect of the amount of packages of cards sold and the amount of packages of gift wrap sold. So we are going to have one equation is all about the money. So we have $5 is what the packages of cards sold. So that would be 5C and $8 is the amount for a package of gift wrap. So that would be 8G. And we know if we add that, that would have a total of the money of 1,550. So our first equation is 5C plus 8G equals 1,550. The second equation is coming from the fact you sold or your class sold 250 total packages. So a total means we're adding together the two amounts. So C plus G equals 250. There's our system that we want to solve. In this case, we want to solve for C, the amount of packages of cards sold to answer this question. So we're going to use substitution to solve this system since the second equation can easily be solved for a variable because of those coefficients of one. Since I want to solve for C, I'm going to actually solve for G in this equation because then I can substitute the expression that has C in the other equation and solve for C. So to solve for G, we're going to subtract C from both sides in that blue second equation. So that would be G equals negative C plus 250. And that's what we're going to substitute in to the other equation. We can get a little more room here. So now we're going to have the equation. We're going to have 5C plus 8, but not times G anymore. We're going to have times the quantity negative C plus 250 equals 1,550. So we can solve this equation for C. We'll distribute 8, so that will give us 5C plus or minus not or plus negative but we'll just go right to minus 8c and then plus 8 times 250 is 2000. We'll now combine the like terms 5c minus 8c is negative 3c and we'll also subtract 2000 from both sides of the equation so we get negative 3c equals negative 450 and dividing both sides by negative three, I'm gonna come over here now for our conclusion, we get that C equals 150. So if C equals 150, and C represents the amount of packages of cards that were sold, our answer is going to be A, 150.